Are you modeling a mini and you want to add wrinkles to its cloth? Well, don't do it by hand in sculpt mode. Instead, take your character and add a displace modifier. Perfect. Set the mid-level to zero. <laughs> Even better. Okay, now you create a new texture. Call it wrinkles. Set the coordinates to UV. And in the texture tab, change the type to a distorted noise texture. <laughs> Looking good, my man. Now, you don't need the whole thing wrinkly. So in the data tab, create a new vertex group and call it wrinkles. Then go back to the modifiers tab and in the displace modifier, set the vertex group to your wrinkles group. And since you haven't assigned any vertexes to the group, we're back to nothing happening, but we'll fix that real soon. Go into the UV editing tab and in the UV view, select all the existing points and just scale them down and put them in a corner so we don't have to worry about them for now. Then in the 3D view, select the vertices you want to get all wrinkly. Press U and unwrap them and choose an option that makes sense. For pants like this, cylinder projection often works. In the data tab, you can assign the selected verts to the wrinkles group, but you still won't see anything unless you enable displaying the displace modifier in edit mode. Honestly, that's not looking too bad, but it can be better. Now we just need to edit the UVs and we kind of have to think backwards here. We want our wrinkles to be long and wide, so we need our UVs to be skinny and tall. Makes perfect sense. You want them more wrinkly? Make those UVs even taller. This is probably more wrinkles than you want, so go into weight paint mode and hold down the control while clicking to erase wrinkles from parts that you don't want them to be in. And boom, there it is, perfect wrinkles, and it hardly took you any effort. This technique can be applied to certain types of hair as well, and with some fancy UVs, you can make fancy dresses or capes. Is it perfect? No, but nobody's gonna notice on a mini that's only a few inches tall, but it's gonna make your renders look like you put a lot more effort into them than you did, and really, that's what it's all about.